Hi! Oh my goodness, hello vlog. Hold on, getting ready for school. That's new, you haven't seen that. Welcome to the clear, the clear being my bathroom. Um, hi, how's it going? How are you? I'm getting ready for school. I am on rotation today. Oh my God, why am I already talking? I haven't even introed. Hey everybody, I'm G. If you don't know me, I hope you're here to learn. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. How are you? How's your heart? Ugh, oh, it's been a second, you guys. Man, you know, the new year always like brings new challenges, including like getting back into vlogging because I take a break after, um, what's it called? Vlogmas. It's just a lot. Vlogmas is a lot to handle and take on. And so I have to take a break afterwards, even if it's like for two weeks, because I've been vlogging for 25 days straight. So here I am, brushing my hair before school. You guys, how, does anyone know how to get static out of a hairbrush? Because I have been dealing with that for the past like week and a half. Like every single one of my hairbrushes is really staticky and then my hair has that like crinkle noise, you know, when something has static in it. Um, but yeah, anyway, how you doing? How you doing? How's your heart? I already asked you that. Sorry, there was like a hangnail. You guys, I love picking up this camera because it makes me forget about the stuff going on in my life. Like, so we started back at school and just like the amount of things we have to get done before graduation in May, which is just wild that I finish in May. Like, feels like I just started literally yesterday. Um, I posted a things I learned like last semester in dental hygiene school during Vlogmas, so go look for that. It's on my channel because I know you guys love dental hygiene videos. Um, so I did that, but I can't believe I graduate this semester. It's just wild. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. It's a burp kind of morning. Oh, what I was saying. I just love picking up the camera whenever like things are flying too fast in my head. And I know we all have those like times in our lives when we overthink literally everything because it's kind of where I'm at right now. And, um, not that I want to like go into detail about that because I just don't want to, but I don't know you guys like I this camera really helps me get out of my own head because it allows me to like show other people my world and it focuses on someone else other than myself which is what I love about this like medium it gets me out of my own brain for a second there we go there's still curlies down there but anyway in case you're also going through a moment of overthinking things you're not alone I'm here with you okay we don't have to do it by ourselves. We can do it together. Does that sound good to you? Okay, good. So hair is done. I just had to like ta uh, tame some flyaways. I am in my second week of school already, I think it is. And I'm on rotation today. I have stomatology at 10. If you don't know what stomatology is, it's really cool. It's basically the oral pathology clinic um, at our school. And people come in that have like conditions that are super rare and unique and I wish I could show you but I can't because obviously like I can't violate privacy or like HIPAA or anything like that so I can't show you what we do during that rotation but I'm really excited I'll tell you guys all about it later if there's any cool cases that we see I'll tell you um and then in the afternoon I have a patient in the clinic I had my first patient back yesterday and it was really fun and exciting and I missed being I miss being in clinic. I miss taking care of my patients. I love my patients. Love them. They're, they're literally everything to me. Um, and obviously a lot of the population that comes to the school, they're like the older generation and they're just the sweetest little humans ever in the whole wide world. Anyway, I'm gonna put on my shoes and then we'll, I'll talk to you when I'm eating breakfast. Hi, I'm back. I'm about to eat breakfast. I don't want you guys to watch me on camera eat, but I just wanted to tell you that I'm reading Red, White, and Royal Blue, and actually I'm listening to it on audiobook, um, and I'm obsessed with it. It's everything of the sort, and the fact that the first family, first of all, um, in this book, the, the first like female president is Latina, get out of my face. You guys know how much I love when my, represent, my culture is represented, so. It's literally my favorite thing in the whole world. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, just gotta eat breakfast and then we'll go to school. I just saw the trailer for the new ro like ro Roco, 
rom-com with Ashton Kutcher and Reese Witherspoon. I, I think it's called like Your Place or Mine. It looks so good. And I I'm editing. That movie was not very good. <laughs> it's just like I miss that era of rom-coms. Like the 90s, early 2000s rom-coms. Those were the best ones. And I think the only way we get those back is by getting the people who were in those films or the directors of said films to make them again. Because whatever we've been doing, we've been screwing up. I say we as if like I'm part of like, I'm like I'd like to thank the Hollywood Forum for us. No, I'm just kidding. Um, like the newer ones suck. Even like everyone's like, oh, Set It Up was like it was like an old school rom-com. Not really. Like love Glenn Powell, love Zoe Deutsch, love her with everything that I have, but I didn't think it was that great. Like that movie was not as good as How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. That movie was not as good as You've Got Mail. That movie was not as good as When Harry Met Sally, which like, I don't really know that we'll ever get movies like that again, but those movies evoke something in you. Oh my God. They evoke something in you that just like makes you want to fall in love. Do you know what I mean? With your best friend. Ah, I just can't take it. Anyway. Maybe I need to watch some rom-coms again. I think I'm in that, that headspace. That, or you know what I really need to listen to? You know the closing scene, or not closing scene, but like one of the scenes in um, Call Me By Your Name when Elio's dad is talking to him about, um, like after Oliver leaves um, Crema and um, he's like back home and he's on the couch with his dad and his dad's like telling him, about how beautiful it is just to open your heart to someone. I think I need to hear that again because my brain is just all kinds of scrambled right now. Okay. All right, you guys, I'll see you at school. Love you. Don't forget, you're very special. Okay. Let's go. This has to go in my mouth. It would just fell off the back. <laughs> <laughs> say hi, Shim. Shim, say hi. Are you so excited to be at school? I know I look so horrible. It's okay. I have the crisscrosses with killed me. I have impression material all over my face. Did you say toys? Toys? I dropped it. Oh, let's. Oh, oh, Vaseline. Makeup tutorial. No, they're already cracked. Oh, yeah. Makeup tutorial. But. Yeah, I, don't know. I mean, maybe. I want to go there soon. Was that. Hello, vlog. It's the next day. We were at school yesterday, you saw. Um, I was only allowed, or not allowed, I was only able to film a little bit because I was on rotation in the morning and then at the afternoon I had a patient, but I finished early. But I have a haul, I have a Target, um, Barnes Noble and Container Store haul. So I figured I could show you guys what I got. I had to run some errands. I know the lighting's a little bit dark here. I'm trying to figure it out because since there's not as much light in the day during winter, it's kind of hard to film during the day. So I'm trying to find the best spots in the house to film. So we'll start with Target. First is this rug pad. I just needed one of these for a rug that I bought from Ikea. Um, and then, you know, to make it stay in place, I love those things. And then I also got this candle. I, you guys, I am in my candle era. I cannot get enough. I need candles at all times. I need them in different scents. I need them in large, you know, little thing bobbies. And I'm starting to really like more masculine scents than I am like feminine. Like, not that I ever really liked those like syrupy, sugary like candles. I really think that those are disgusting. Like the waffle ones, the syrup ones, um, what other, the caramel, ugh, like, those kinds of candles give me headaches and I think that they're literally disgusting. I use usually more of like a vanilla girl. Anything that had vanilla in it, I was like, I'm sold. But this candle is from Target and it's called Rustic Palo Santo. And I'm realizing lately that anything with Palo Santo, I love because for whatever reason, it smells like my dad. I cannot put my finger on it. But it does, it smells just like him. And anyway, this is Rustic Palo Santo. I believe this was like $16. And the little thing that it comes in is brown. It's super cute. I love it a lot. And then the next thing that I got, oh, is this Listerine Total Care Zero Alcohol Mouth Rinse. Now let me put you onto this, okay? Let me just put on my dental hygiene hat, if you will. 
If you are somebody who is susceptible to cavities, okay, and you use a fluoride toothpaste and you're still susceptible to cavities, honestly, if you don't use a fluoride toothpaste, this can help, okay? Make sure that it says zero alcohol because the problem is I've seen that there are some mouth rinses that will say like anti-cavity mouth rinse and then you look at the ingredients and one of the ingredients is alcohol and the problem is, is that alcohol dries out your teeth and then makes it way more susceptible, like makes your teeth way more susceptible to forming cavities. So make sure that if you're using a mouth rinse, it does not have alcohol in it because it really will make a difference the next day. You'll notice it in the morning because for a minute I was testing out the theory because I didn't believe it, but it's true. Um, if you use a mouth rinse with alcohol in it, it'll say it in the, the inactive ingredients, not the active ones. It'll say it at the bottom and it'll usually be like the second or third ingredient that's in there if there is alcohol. And this one doesn't have it. It says it's just water, sorbitol, uh, propylene glycol. But anyway, that's this. It's the Listerine anti-cavity fluoride mouthwash. So if you're somebody who's susceptible like me, get yourself that mouth rinse. And then I got, these purchases are kind of boring. And then I got just contact solution because I was out of it. And I just buy whatever is cheapest to be honest with you. Oh, I also bought these stay in place um, skid resistance tabs for rugs and mats because my rugs like to move around for whatever reason. They don't like to stay in place. And then I got these flossers, the glide ones, the glide scope. Okay, you guys, these are my absolutely favorite flossers. And again, let me put on my dental hygiene hat and tell you why. I love these because they're not super strong on your teeth, meaning they won't like rip through your teeth if you have fillings in between them. Um, there are certain brands, I believe it's like, the, I believe it's the, oh, dang it, I actually can't remember, but it comes in like a white bag um, of flossers and they're green, but they're not like this. And the floss is way too strong. And if you have fillings in between your teeth, that floss is capable of pulling off a filling if it's not perfectly contoured to your tooth. So, and that one actually has in, like induced trauma in my gums and like other people's that I've seen. So I make sure people stay away from that one. But the glide one is my absolute favorite because it doesn't shred and the floss is laid down the way it's supposed to be, the way it's supposed to go through your teeth. It's supposed to go in like flat like this versus like this. So floss should be standing up like this when it's going through your teeth to make sure that it contours to both sides of your teeth when you're flossing. Sorry for getting all dental hygiene -y on you, but these are the best ones. And this is the small bag. I couldn't find the bigger one, so I'll just have to buy more. And then I got hair ties because I really am on the struggle bus with that. I don't have any more left. I don't know. I keep finding new ones. Like I just get lucky and I find them. So here are the other things that I got. This is also from Target. Um, I got this for my coffee table. It's a platter because I want something for in the middle of my coffee table. I just feel like it gives the coffee table way more structure and I need to take the sticker off on the back, but I like it because I didn't want anything that was gold and I didn't want anything that was white. So I figured that the wood would be um, kind of, it would go with like my media st stand and like my basket for all of my blankets. So I need to put this over here and then, okay, so this one is my Barnes Noble purchase. I got a coffee table book for said tray and it's this life is beautiful or live beautiful tray uh, or book. Why do I keep, I can't speak. Sorry. It's this book. It's super cute. I really like the picture on the cover and I've seen it on Amazon before, but I get really hesitant buying coffee table books on Amazon because I don't know what the, sorry, what the size is going to be. So I never know if it's going to be too big or if it's going to fit perfectly. And I think that one's going to be perfectly fine for that tray. So I really like that one. And then these are from the container store. So I have one of these already and I wanted to buy two other pieces for it because they, I knew they were on sale from online and because um, I just want to be done. Like I want to buy these things and be done with them. And I was using gift cards that I got for the holidays and they are these store or stackers like jewelry case things. Um, I need to open them up. So I bought the pink one originally. So I obviously had to buy the other pieces in pink. You don't have to, but if you're psycho like me and you want the colors to match. So I bought two stackers. So that's what they look like. So you can put like your jewelry in it and you just kind of put them on top of each other. You can buy them separately or together. They come in sets. I believe that each of these was like $30 and it was on sale. So I believe I got them each for like 20 something. I love my stackers so much. I'll show you guys later what they look like, but that's my haul for, for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and put all these things away. 
get things going, moving and grooving, and I'll check with you guys later. so I figured I would give you guys no OTD. Okay, so these leggings are set active. This bra is Fabletics from like two years ago and the only reason I really like it is because it's one of the only sports bras I can wear by itself. I know I have my head cut off. That actually gives me support when you're a girly pop who, you know, is supplied up here. So I saw these water bottles for the first time in San Francisco when I was flying home. They're the PATH, um, like purified water bottles or whatever so you can refill it and it has like the berries logo on it how cool is that i have another one that's white and you just refill it and you can rewash it and i don't know if you can put it in the dishwasher but you can for sure wash it because it's aluminum i think which isn't the best for your teeth but that's okay um sorry friends got cut off because the battery died um what i was saying is yesterday i went to berries which ended me so sydney rude that's so rude of you i'm gonna put you guys right here i'm trying to move the towels because they're so far forward. Okay. So what I was saying, um, I've been feeling really anxious lately and sometimes, not all the time, sometimes working out really is the fix for me. So I tried to go to Barry's yesterday, didn't really get me out of my funk and now we're going to Seoul because we will continue to try to get myself out of my funk until something works. What shirt should I wear? What t-shirt should I wear? Maybe it's a New York day. New York always cheers me up. Maybe I'll wear that. I need to go on a trip to New York. I have not been in a minute and it always makes me feel so much better because it makes me remember that my problems are minuscule compared to the other people's problems, like to other people's problems on this planet. Not that that means they don't matter. They matter, everything's relative, but it just reminds me New York does so much for my mental health. Like I can't even explain it. Like. It just is a beautiful place and I'm very thankful that it exists. Okay, ponytail up. What time is it? I need to eat something before I leave. And then I will check in with you guys once we're there. I'm gonna take this coral tank top to wear in class. I don't think I'm feeling confident enough to just wear my sports bra today. <clears throat> you know those days. There are days where you feel at your best and days you don't. But anyway, I didn't even show you guys when I set up that little, I mean like you guys saw me set it up, but um, you didn't see the finished product of my coffee table with the stuff that I bought yesterday. So I will show you guys that in, in a little, in a second. Um, okay. Oh, I take like an outdoor voices bag with me. So I just, I'm gonna put that in there. Anyway, I'll check it in a little bit. I hope you guys are having a good day. And if you're not, go on a walk, go work out, meditate, manifest, write in a journal, do something for you today, okay? Love you. You're in the 30 minute window that still shows you. Uh -uh. And I had that and it showed like for whatever. We are at Soul Cycle. We just worked out. <laughs> Say hi, friends. Hi. Hannah loves me. Hi, Kay. I can't see. Hi. You know, Reed's usually in my vlogs on Saturdays, but he's not here today. Did he write the 9 30? I sat next to him. Rats. My okay, yesterday morning during class. Yes. That one fast. No, get me off of there. <laughs> you love the vlogs. That one fast. Hello, fam. We are. Done with soul. You just saw that we went. Um, I am currently going home. I cannot feel my legs. Actually, I'm not going home. That's a lie. We're going to Crate and Barrel because I want to see if they have any wine glasses that I super love. Because if you didn't know, I broke one of my wine glasses. Well, I didn't break it, but it broke in the dishwasher. Um, and don't yell at me and tell me to not put them in there because I have done that my whole life and they've never broken. So it's probably just because I have like cheapo ones. Um, they are cheapo. They're from Amazon. 
Anyway, we're going there. Um, I was like, touche. So it's like I was good. I can't feel my legs. Oh my goodness. I need to go home and wash my hair. It is nasty. What is this restaurant? Let's new. Oh, nope. Just kidding. It's not new. It's always been there. They just changed the outside. Saturdays. I love the vibes. I love the vibes. I wish. Oh. Um, I guess I should go this way. I also need to go home and do some stuff. Um, like school stuff. And some content related thingies if you will oh i was gonna go to anthropology to see if they have any candles like i told you guys i'm in my freaking candle era it's like all i want to do is buy more candles than light them all right i'll update you when we're there all right we just went to crate and barrel i'm obsessed with the new miley song by the way like i can't stop singing it i can't stop listening to it you hear it don't want to get copyrighted because copyright um it's such a good song also i just cream and barrels everything to me first of all second of all i like i'm trying here okay like why would you bring two very small children into a store that is full of breakables like these i'm not even like okay it's one thing if like your kids are with you and they're just like they're well behaved is i hate saying that but like you have them, you know, you have your eye on them and they're not leaving your eyesight, right? There are, there are two really small kids in, in Crate and Barrel just now throwing things. Like I'm talking throwing like those measuring spoons, you know, for like baking and stuff, throwing them in the store. And there are aisles of wine glasses and like champagne flutes. You guys, why? And then the moms are just like, um, like let's say the kid's name is Jared. Jared. Jared, stop doing that. Jared, come over here by mommy, Jared. And I'm like, go grab your child. Why are you letting them roam around Crate and Barrel? I don't understand. Oh my God, I can't. I can't handle it, you guys. It makes me like, it just, I need to get out of the store ASAP. And I know the employees are thinking the same thing, but like they can't be rude, right? Oh my gosh, why would you do that? Why? Oh my God, just order online. You can literally do order pickup. Okay, I'm sorry. Ran over. Sorry. I'm really sorry. I know that sounds bad. I'm just gonna stop now. Okay, we are home. Here we are. Here's my Crate and Barrel bag. I love Crate and Barrel so much. Truly, it brings me joy. Um, okay, so let's show you guys the things that I got. Things, well, I've really just got two things, but a set of four of each. They come in a set of six. And they really weren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. Um, but I only did a set of four because I already have some wine glasses. And I didn't want to do the full six yet. And I can just add those later in life. I don't need to do it now. Um, so I got the ginormous red wine glasses because I love... Like, the bigger the wine glass to me, the better. Just like, oh my god. I think these are the ones my friend Janie has, but I'm not like a thousand percent sure. I'm obsessed, you guys. It's like as big as my head and I just love it. I need to take this sticker off the bottom. I keep forgetting that like all of this stuff is like Crate and Barrel is a company made out or like um, a company out of Chicago. I forget that all the time. And then these stickers on the bottom, they just make it so hard to take these off. And it makes me so upset because like I know that they do it so that you can't steal things, but then it makes it difficult once you buy them. Okay, there you go. There's my little sticker and then the white wine glasses. Oh, he put them in a box for me because they come in a box of six. So he was like, I'll just take out two and you can keep the box. And I said, all right, thank you so much for your service. Hold on. I can get it out of the bag. Hold please. I just figured it was time like as an adult to have wine glasses that are like made for a certain kind of wine, you know? This is the box, if you will. Um, okay, so the white wine glasses are always a little bit smaller. Sorry, you can't see my face. They're always gonna be a little bit smaller and the shape is gonna be different, but it's the same style. So this is what it looks like. It's still got that like like wide bottom, but I love wide bottom. But it's always gonna be a thinner is what the, the dude said. Anyway, so I gotta take the sticker off. I don't drink white wine as much as I drink red, but I still have a ton of it. So I'm always like, Am I supposed to be drinking out of the same glass? Which I don't, I really don't think it's that big of a deal, but um, I just, it's time. As an adult, it's time to have the set. 
I'm using like my, my holiday Christmas money and stuff for it, so. This is what your girl's doing. Big girl purchases, we're upgrading our lives, fam. Anyway, these are the two glasses and I love them and I think they're so cute and they really weren't that expensive, I believe. They were each, like individually, they're $7.95. So honestly, you can just buy them by themselves and build up your collection as you have time to do that. You don't have to buy them all at once, but I thought they were a pretty reasonable price and I love all the shapes that they have. I honestly will probably end up going back and buying like different shapes of wine glasses because I'm turning into that person. And then all of their champagne flutes and all of their martini glasses, yeah, martini glasses are next because if you know me, you know that Cosmos are my favorite drink to ever exist. So that's gonna be next. But anyway, I just love Crane Barrel so much. And that's my little haul for you. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Hadley. Hadley.